Vegeta questioning the power of Jiren in attempts of challenging the Universe 11 Super Warrior, we now find ourselves engaged in a different battle as the leader of Universe 11 Topo faces off against Universe 7's Vegeta, but how exactly will this battle go and will we have ourselves a definitive winner as we continue to roll on through the Tournament of Power? On today's discussion, we talk about the potential of Vegeta versus Topo and our thoughts as to what may come about as these two Mega Warriors face off for the very first time. And again, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and enable all notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever a Dragon Ball video is posted onto this channel in connection to news information, updates, leaks, and spoilers, hashtag notification squad to be up to date with all latest in Dragon Ball. Now Bubbles, it's a pleasure to have you back on the channel once more as the subject of Topo versus Vegeta is going to be the main focus here today and the idea that a lot of us were asking for this fight since the beginning and you yourself, you're a huge fan of Hit and we would have all loved to see what would have happened if someone like Hit were to encounter Topo and various different battles, you know, dictating the outcome of this tournament. But since Hit is out and Jiren is currently meditating, we understand that now it's come down to Topo and Vegeta. So I wanted to get your opinion and your take on this fight because Topo in the manga so far, in case you guys have missed out my Dragon Ball Super uh, Manga Chapter Number 29 review, Topo in the manga is significantly, I would have to say, more powerful or at least durable in the manga than how he was in the anime. In the anime, people argue and say, well, Topo, you know, he was relative to Goku when he fought him during the Zen Exhibition match, or he wasn't relative. People would make that argument and say that Topo isn't really on par or should be on par with a Super Saiyan Blue, but now that we have Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta combat Topo in the Tournament of Power, what I wanted to ask you is, what are your overall thoughts on this fight? And having to predict what may occur in the future, where do you see the direction of this fight going? Do you see Topo getting the best of Vegeta, or do you see Vegeta possibly getting the best of Topo? Because in my opinion, I think the best way to get Jiren to fight is to have his remaining two teammates having to be wrung out. So to me, I feel as if, you know, to get Jiren motivated enough to, you know, break that meditation and continue his fight with Goku and etc. I think the only way to get him to do that is to ring out Topo and Dispa at the same time, which forces him to ultimately break that meditation-like state and forcing him to fight the likes of the fighters that are still remaining in the tournament. So in your prediction and, and in your overall thoughts, what are your thoughts going into Topo versus Vegeta? And how do you see this fight pretty much being dictated as we go forward in the Tournament of Power? I think Topo versus Vegeta is a fight that um, everyone is going to be excited for. It's a fight that is well worth it because we have been promised a rematch of Vegeta versus Hit for a while now uh, since the Universe 6 and 7 tournament. And I think that um, with Hit being wrung out, um, it leaves the factor of the fight we were promised with Vegeta, um, but now we get to see it with Topo instead of Hit. Uh, so we get to see a, a little bit of a different element to see how he would fare against uh, Topo, um, someone that, you know, gave Goku a little bit of a struggle um, back in the Zen Exhibition match. I think it'll be interesting to get to see, um, to get to see Vegeta keep his level-headedness against Topo, because you could tell already just from, I don't want to really call it their first encounter, but just from seeing it before they started fighting, when um, Vegeta kind of demanded to fight with Jiren, but um, he was like, I don't want to fight the second best, and Topo kind of fired back at him and said, well, aren't you the second best? Yeah, second so fiddle, exactly. It definitely is getting under Vegeta's skin um, already, uh, before the real fight even gets into the, really just gets into it. So I'm excited to see how it progresses, because it seems that Topo can honestly hit all of the, um, all of the weaknesses, um, I guess the mental weaknesses in Vegeta. Well, I mean, so uh, far, yeah, by insulting him. I mean, but but then again, it's like a lot of us are kind of like on edge about this because we don't know the direction. A lot of people are saying that it's becoming fairly predictable that Vegeta might, you know, defeat Topo. But I don't think it's as that easy as people want to make it out to be because when we saw Topo versus Goku during that battle, it's safe to assume that both Goku and Topo didn't really go all out. And that's the problem, I think, exactly. for this whole tournament, is the fact that a lot of fighters aren't really going all out. And with 23 minutes remaining, I think it's time for a lot of fighters to really start displaying their power because as time begins to dwindle, you're gonna have to come up with a strategy or a plan 
to execute your power sufficiently enough to where you have to get the job done against whoever you're up against and just pretty much you know maintaining that momentum and staying in the tournament so let's say hypothetically speaking this fight goes on in your opinion who do you see besting up the other in this battle do you see based on plot alone that vegeta gets a major victory by defeating topo because thus far topo hasn't done anything the only person we've only seen popo uh topo <laughs> We've only seen Topo fight once before, yeah, yeah. so it's hard to formulate an opinion on how he is as a fighter when I don't really think he was being too serious the first time we saw him fight. Not at all, no, no. And, and the manga variation depicts him very differently as well, and I would have to a say, lot. like, we, we've seen a lot from everyone else but him. We saw, you know, how Dispo fought against Hit. We saw the remaining Pride Troopers fight Android 18 and Goku. We saw Jiren. I mean, Jiren is in his own league of his own. So between Vegeta and Topo, because this one is kind of weird, because if, if by some chance Vegeta defeats Topo, everyone in the community, I think universally, would agree that Topo is just pure trash. And because he hasn't done anything significant enough to get a huge victory here. He didn't do anything with Android 17. He didn't do anything with Ultimate Gohan. He didn't do anything at all. Um, however, it'll be a big victory for Vegeta. However, if Topo beats Vegeta, similar to what I just said about Topo, Vegeta hasn't really done anything huge either. He, I mean, granted, he's, you know, fodderized a, a bunch of, you know, weak characters that aren't relative to Super Saiyan Blue or beyond that. And now right. we have potentially someone who's on par with Super Saiyan Blue, if not stronger, depending on, you know, if we see that level of power from Topo. But in your opinion... Who do you see winning this fight, and how do you think that would affect the tournament as we go on, in your opinion? I think Vegeta definitely deserves the one-up on defeating Topo. Really? Because uh, we, we honestly can't really... We don't know how Topo fights too much, like I've already said, so it's kind of hard to... We, we know he's on par with a Super Saiyan Blue, but it's really difficult to say he would defeat someone as prideful as Vegeta. Now, um, I think that there's been a lot of foreshadowing that... Vegeta obviously plans to be the one that's gonna win right and he's said to Kaba at least once that um you know he plans to be the one on top he plans to be the one to win because he wants to wish back universe 6 so I mean he's he's made it very apparent that his plan is that he's in it to win he's in it to fight the best uh same as Goku and, and he at the end of the day he's also saying he has the same drive as Goku he has the same capabilities as Goku uh, to win so i think that if we got to see in the anime at least if we got to see um goku come out on top at the fight with um against topo i think it's going to be a similar um a similar result in uh vegeta at least matching with topo i'm hoping that vegeta will be the one to ring topo out but um something i've been feeling like is since they're kind of like almost right hand right hand men together right. that dispo might interfere with the fight and that might cause a little bit of a um distraction hardship. for vegeta because yeah. i was just about to ask you what are your thoughts on possibly protecting both characters because like i said before if topo rings out vegeta everyone's gonna think that vegeta truly is fiddle if Vegeta rings out topo everyone's gonna laugh at topo and saying you did nothing this entire time like you're pathetic um, but perhaps maybe what if to protect both characters they really go all in and there's somewhat of an interference between universe 4 universe 2 universe 3 or perhaps as you just said perhaps dispo jumps in because collectively the pride troopers do work together very well and if that were to occur and we have dispo and topo about fighting vegeta do you see anybody else gohan piccolo the androids especially the androids because they haven't done anything do you see anybody else jumping in to help vegeta like how do you see that situation going about because judging based on how we saw the pride troopers collectively as a unit they all stick with each other with, with the exception of jiren right. he doesn't need anybody but topo has been there uh for you know for dispo when watching him fight hit even though he had kunji on his side we saw you know casserole and the other pride troopers stick together when they fought the androids and kale and khalifa so going into this fight here if let's say for example dispo were to step in and help out or assist topo in this battle do you see anybody else helping vegeta in that case like in terms of like possibly goku or any of the other fighters i i would say frieza but i could never see frieza helping vegeta at all but, you know, ha having to look at that narrative, do you see anybody assisting Vegeta? Or perhaps do you see this going about to where it's a direction where it's going to be Vegeta versus Topo and Dispo at the same time? I feel like, um, 
just based on Vegeta's character from the past, we're only really going to see Vegeta fight Topo and Dispo, because I feel like even if one of the other Universe 7 team members, or even a Universe 6 member at that, if anybody really steps up to try to help Vegeta get the upper hand, I think he's going to just deny the help. Yeah. I honestly feel like he'd much rather ring himself out than have somebody help. Oh no, of help. course, that, that, yeah, that, that comes with his pride. Oh, he's, he's the most prideful, if anything, out of this entire tournament. It's just such a difficulty because, yeah, you want to be able to see that teamwork that we've all been longing for from Universe 7. Um, and I feel like, honestly, if it was anyone to step up, we've seen Goku step up before to, you know, to have a Goku-Vegeta duo. Um, but he, it looks like he's going to be a little bit too preoccupied with Khalifla. So I think that that, um, I think that that rules out Goku on its own because he'll be preoccupied with Kale and Khalifla. Um, and then... Piccolo and Gohan have been trying to ward off the Namekians, who seem quite unrelentless. So I don't really know. The only other person that I think would be free to help him would be the androids or Frieza. And it might be a little bit of a, I guess, a story cutting the edges to to give that relationship back to um, Frieza and Vegeta. Wouldn't that be something, right? Frieza and Vegeta versus Topo and Dispo. Almost like a repayment for Vegeta working under Frieza for all of those years, even after the destruction of Planet Vegeta, um, Vegeta remained working under Frieza, so maybe this is kind of like, because we've already seen such out of character moments for Frieza when he gave energy to Goku, um, so I mean, maybe this will also be an out of character moment for uh, Frieza, and he might actually step up and help uh, Vegeta to take on Topo and Dispo. Well, in that case, I mean, that would rule out Jiren having to be the last one. And I, I personally feel, as I said in the beginning, the only way to get Jiren to break his meditation to really go all in is for Vermao to come to the understanding and telepathically letting him know you are the last one remaining. You need to right. do what you have to do to win this. And at that given point, remember, Jiren did tell Topo and Dispo, you can handle the rest. I needed to do what I what I what I was essentially sent out to do and take out the strongest, i.e., Hit and Goku. During that time, of course, not not discrediting Vegeta because I think that Vegeta could be worthy of at least fighting him. Although the end result will be Jiren winning. Um, going further into this, though, in, in in your opinion, who do you see ringing out Topo? Because for some weird reason, as much as I would love to see this fight be dragged out, I feel as if this fight between Topo and Vegeta is going to last perhaps maybe a few episodes and it's going to be cut i think that somebody's gonna get you know in between the fight or perhaps maybe there's gonna be like somewhat of a separation or, or, or perhaps even interruption to where they're gonna stray away from each other and they're not gonna fight anymore um in your opinion do you see that happening to where they fight and then eventually something happens to where they split and they don't fight anymore and then they have their own eliminations go about later on? Or do you see a definitive winner happening here between Topo and Vegeta? And if so, as I just asked you, who do you see ringing out Topo? And who do you see ringing out Vegeta if you believe that they could be wrong at all based on plot itself? Well, thus far, I mean, none of the fights have really um, drawn out. I think, what was the longest fight? The two episodes of Jiren versus Goku? Or, uh, yeah, that was like, about it, I would have to say. Because mo most of these fights have lasted have within the duration of like, one episode, yeah. So it's, it's really difficult to say that we think the fight could get drawn out. The only way I feel that the fight could be drawn out is if, um, if Dispo or, or Frieza steps in. Because, I mean, it's going to be more likely that Dispo would step in to help out Topo. But it's just really difficult because, obviously, Jiren left Topo and Dispo in charge for a reason. He left them in charge with, um, with defending the universe uh, in the tournament because he feels confident that they won't be beat. He feels confident that even Goku, in his weakened state, is not even enough to beat the two. Right. So... I definitely think that um, Topo and Dispo getting beat is going to be the eye-opener for Jiren to come back, but it's just a matter of whether or not Topo and Dispo are actually going to let somebody get the upper hand uh, for Jiren to, to come out of the meditation. Right. The reason why I ask you that is because we still have potential to see someone like Frieza fight Topo one-on-one -on -one or yeah. Topo having to square off against Kale. Because Kale is pretty formidable when she's in her Berserker mode. Um, I personally feel that this fight, 
as, as, as good as it's going to be, I think that in some way, shape, or form, it's going to get split to where they're going to go their separate ways because either something happens, there's some sort of like an interruption, a third fighter comes along, whatever. If by some chance Dispo does assist Topo in fighting Vegeta, the only person or people that I think will help him are the androids. I don't see Frieza helping Vegeta at all. The case with Goku is different because I feel I feel as if Frieza knows how gullible Goku is, and he gained this trust because now Goku sees, oh, Frieza's playing ball. Vegeta's not having that. From the minute Frieza came back, and of course we all saw that when Goku brought him back, him and Vegeta mm -hmm. were at it. They were at it, they started exchanging words, Frieza said, uh, Vegeta said, oh, what, what a lovely halo, it suits you, and then Frieza's like, well, I can give you one if you want. So, you know, like, from the start, <laughs> from the start, they had beef. Um, I don't see Frieza helping Vegeta at all. I, I can more or less see Frieza saying, you know, what the hell with Vegeta? Well, I mean, I have Goku who's gonna handle Jiren, uh, hopefully enough, because he even told him, right right after he gave him energy, he was like, him. yeah, he was That's like, I need problem. you, I need you to do work, because I don't want any part of Jiren. That's your job. So Frieza's right. playing this along to where he knows he he knows he's strong. He knows he can he can go. That's why he even said when, when he rung out Kaba, you know, what a waste of time for me to waste energy on such you know such such, such a waste of like you know talent or whatever. Um, not paraphrasing that, but you know, so I think that Frieza would not assist Vegeta at all. If Frieza assists Vegeta, that would be such an eye opener, at least for me, because he has been playing ball. But I know for an absolute fact that those two really hate each other. And as much as Goku and Frieza don't like each other, I feel like there's at least a mutual respect with them, even though Frieza is very deceiving. I feel as if with Vegeta, Frieza would much rather see Vegeta get wrung out and tarnish his pride than help him. But before we go, what I wanted to ask you, my final question is, who would you like to see win between Vegeta and Topo? And the reason why I ask you is because you know, they haven't really done anything huge, anything big, the both of them. Uh, right. Granted, they fought side characters, whatever. Don't they? I mean, Universe 9, Universe 10, they don't really count as like god tier characters. But in your opinion, between Topo and Vegeta, who would you like to see, you know, walk away as the winner or at least ringing out the other in having that character development come about? Because we haven't seen much from Topo aside right. from him fighting Goku. And we, we know what Vegeta's capable of. So in your opinion, how would you set this up if you were writing this battle? Well, Topo's been a character that since he was introduced and since the spoilers for Topo came out, I didn't enjoy his character. Really? And I always thought he was, I thought he was such an infuriating character to me because he was very like, you know, justice and like- Is it because he looks uh, like Eggman? <laughs> is, is that one of the cases? Like a lot more. of people often say he skips leg day. That's why people don't like him. Yep. Uh, it's because why why does his hands need to be that big for like come on yeah, you'd be surprised his character, just between the character design and and the character himself i just he's such a flawed character i didn't like him since i first you know since i first saw the stance for his character um so i mean obviously i was always a big vegeta fangirl before i loved hit this much so i think for me like vegeta would be my i would really want him to come on top but it's also the fact we just don't know because we haven't seen enough from Topo to really say he's as weak or he's not as skilled as everyone wants to make him out to be because we honestly haven't seen much from him. I really just want to see Topo get kicked on his ass with his justice crap, to be honest. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see Topo go down at some point. And I really, really am hoping it's going to be Vegeta to be the one to do it. Because I feel like Vegeta is just a very killjoy character. And, like, in any sense of, like, fun or, like, um, goodness. He, oh, like, for sure. For sure. <laughs> and plus, like, you know what it is? I, I want Vegeta to win, for sure. But I also want to see Topo beat his ass. Because I, at the end of the day, I would love to see Vegeta solidify a huge victory by defeating someone who is supposed to be a candidate to, to become a, you know, a Hakaishin. Yeah. However, just to give Topo some respect, I think Topo needs to beat Vegeta's ass. He needs to beat his <laughs> ass. To, I mean, because if, if this ends up being very one-sided, everyone's going to laugh. Everyone's going to laugh at, you know, Whoa. Topo. They're going to say, wait a minute, all this hype in the manga, all this hype in the anime, and this is what he does? Like, on the grandest That's stage, true. this is how he performs. So at least by beating Vegeta down, but Vegeta ultimately getting that victory over him, I think would 
be best for both characters? Well, I think they're gonna be fairly matched. I don't think it's gonna be an obvious winner from the beginning. Right, right, right. We know how he fought against Goku, and we know how Vegeta fights against Goku. So I think it's gonna be an evenly matched um, duo, but it's just, I really would like to see Vegeta on the top. And then also, um, I obviously want to see more of the Universe 6 Saiyans and just get to see more of Universe 6 in general. Oh, they're gonna, like they're gonna have they're, their moments, those girls. If Vegeta is the one on top, I definitely feel like whether if it's in the Tournament of Power or not, um, if Vegeta is the one to win, we're gonna see more of Universe 6, and that's something I'm, I'm ex I've been excited to see more of Universe 6 since Universe 6 was introduced in the, in the 6 and 7 tournament. Like, I really want to see more out of those guys, honestly. So I think seeing Vegeta on top is like the straight segue into seeing more from Universe 6. And it's been so foreshadowed that, um, you know, if Vegeta wins, like I said, he's gonna wish back, um, the Universe 6 people. Right. And, you know, and we never got to see him on Planet Sadala. Yeah, he, um, he was very angry about that. <laughs> he was very angry about that. He even told Kaba, you know, you, you broke your promise of you bringing promise me to meet me. the king. I mean, I, I yeah. think that Vegeta is more of an uh, of, of a definite ing uh, aggressive fighter. I think that when it comes down to it, Topo, as you said in the beginning of this video, Topo may actually get under his skin in shit-talking him. So when it comes down to, sh you know, to trash talk, I think Topo's gonna win that one because what a way to get under Vegeta's skin and, and, and having him fight sloppy than to trash talk him. But by the end of it, I still feel like Vegeta this should get so the top. victory. Vegeta should definitely get the victory, but I think that by the end of it, Topo needs, and I mean like, he needs to really bring something huge to the table because they're painting him out to be this formidable person in the tournament. Of course, as we saw when Goku tore his suit, he got really mad, and he was he was gonna he was gonna go at full power right there because he feels as if that suit is very honorable to him. It's something that, you know, it, it means a lot to him as a fighter, as a person, and he was gonna go all out. So hopefully Vegeta rips a part of his suit that forces him to really go all in. Uh, but post your comments down below, guys. What are your overall thoughts on Topo versus Vegeta? Are you guys for Team Topo or are you guys for Team Vegeta? What are your thoughts on the overall outcome of this fight? And going forward, I mean, do you guys see this fight getting dragged on? Do you see anybody interrupting like Dispo, perhaps? Post your comments down below, guys. This has been Bubbles, aka Popo's Bedroom. I will leave a link to her channel down in the description box, guys. If you guys want to see more of myself and Bubbles, hashtag bring Bubbles back, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to go on ahead and slap a like if you guys are new. Punch that subscribe button, guys, and also turn on notifications because YouTube is drunk. That way you guys can be notified whenever my video is posted onto your sub box. Bubbles, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll be seeing you all in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.